Welcome back to my channel, Bookworms. Today I am bringing you my September TBR. So once again, I am changing up my TBR style this month and we are doing a Stephen King September. So I have a goal that I would love to read all of Stephen King's works or as much of it as I possibly can. And currently I have read 27 books from him I wanted to do a Stephen King September type of video and read as many Stephen King books as I possibly can in the month of September. If you would like to join me on my Stephen King September then you can use these prompts as well and pick out your books that you're going to be reading with me in September. So I have created a list uh, of prompts, of reading prompts. I will pop the bingo card up here and also link it down below. Um, so in case you are wanting to join me, you can fill out the board um, as we go along in the month. Um, I know I will be doing it just to keep track. A book published between 1974 and 1994. Um, a book set in autumn or winter. A book with a one word title. A novella, something published between 2014 and 2023, a collaboration book. So those are the rough prompts that I will be going off of. I'm going to tell you the books that I have picked that I hope that I can read in the month. So the first one is a book that I recently got in my abominable book box um, as the secondhand book and it's one that I've been wanting to pick up myself and that is from a Burek It and it's I'm guessing like Christine which is also another book that I'm hoping to read this month. I bought a set of the Halloween editions of those books so Christine, Cell and Bag of Bones. Those books are coming to me very shortly they just haven't made it for this video but Christine and from a Burek It I am hoping to read um, and kind of compare so I'm looking forward to that one and next is a book that I'm in, kind of intimidated to read um, especially in the month when I'm reading so many other Stephen King books um, and that is Desperation this is a chunky book and um, I've really struggled with his bigger books especially when there's so much detail and he overwrites I'm hoping that this is decent enough to read and get through pretty easily and doesn't take up too much of my time but um, it has been one that I've wanted to pick up as it tends to be on people's higher ups when they're doing like top 20 Stephen King books that they've read this tends to be at the top of the list so I'm intrigued to read this I feel like this one's gonna have a lot of unknown terrors and horrors in like human form so I'm intrigued to read this and hopefully I'm not put off by the, the fact that it's over 700 pages uh, so yeah this one I should probably make a start on first and then next up we have If It Bleeds I am hoping that I can read The Outsider before I get to this one but I'm told that it doesn't matter if you don't read them in order and I'm hoping that it that the fact that I haven't read the other book it should be fun and a book that I'm going to be reading for the collaboration slash series is um, Gwendy's Button Box also I do not have three of those Stephen King books that I spoke about yet but they're on their way and I will also be hoping to read Cell and A Bag of Bones along with all the other Stephen King books that I've mentioned. So I am going to round out this video because the sun is officially gone and this clip is getting so so dark and I need to turn the light on. So thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comments what you're reading this month and if you're joining me for Stephen King September. It's so unofficial but of course you can read along with me and let me know if you want to buddy read any of them I would love to do that and discuss with you as well so until next time 
keep your pages turning and embrace the darkness. Bye.